Okay, so today I'm going to be working on a new project for Zana. First thing I wanted to do is uh, clean up the layer. So we have an extra layer email that's not supposed to be here. So we select the layer, we make a line with it. We select a different layer and then we say lay del. Select the layer, yes. Do you want to delete? Yes. That's it, and the layer is gone. So that's number one. So I have a copied file. Now we go and make a wall. So this is going to be 26, 25. by 18, 18, 160, the other layer 177 and a half, okay, offset 6, and this is 17. Fill it. Okay, there you go. Now we make a base and we draw a line horizontal, offset at twenty four inches. That's our base cabinet. Draw construction line vertical offset 24 inches, base cabinets, and off we go. So we go 24, 24, plus 3, that's our filler, then we have 32, offset 30, 30, and I'm just reading the information on my right screen, offset 0.75, offset 32, offset 0.75, offset 1.5, offset 36, offset 36, offset 36. Okay, so we have to move An inch, an inch, set point seventy five, offset twenty, offset twenty five, offset point eight seventy five. So this is a post, a cabinet, and another panel. Offset two, five. So rectangles, this is just rectangles. Offset point eight seventy five. This is only a short gable, another short gable, that's a filler, and then we have 41 and a half, 46, 5, so 1.5, 46, offset 46, offset 6. Seven offset twenty seven twenty seven offset thirty two thirty two offset point seventy five offset twenty four offset point seventy five and offset offset 24 and 
and offset point seventy. Offset point seventy five. Offset point eight seventy five. The base is laid out. Not really. Wait. It's the dishwasher. And we have a panel that's 14. construction line the customer likes 42 offset 42 and 42 the island is 61 and a half offset 1 offset top and this we can delete select the different layer counter there you go 36 and 5 8 plan is pretty much done so copied everything from the other side and So we have our window, 160 and a half and 20 and a quarter. So this is 26, okay. 15 foot 6 in the hole, 15 times 12 plus 6, 25, 186, 25. So 186, 25. Perfect. Just like 26 and a quarter. That's good. 
seventeen. So wall line is seventeen. That's to our door. Forty-three and a half and three point five is the door. And then ninety-four from here. is done. That's good. And the window. Now we can check if the sink is centered. I need and three quarters. Point. That's almost centered. Okay, we're ready to do the elevation. Elevation now. This is the kitchen we're working on. So we have a shallow pantry, fridge, drawers, head of mines, decorative wood, drawers, drawers, blind cabinet, glass, and uppers. And then we have the island with the garbage, big drawers, and a microwave shelf. So we select uppers. Line 14, 30, point 75, point 75, rectangular, rectangular now 21, that's our hood and mirror cabinet on this side. 26. So we're gonna go 27, 27, 14, and polyline. There we go. Now this upper is 33. 33. even the out. Okay, so that's done. And now we go to elevations. And we're 
where is my elevation? So here we can copy a full file. So we go wall, draw, vertical, major outlines. Offset 96. So that's our wall fillet. We can trim. This is our wall. Now we can freeze it so it doesn't move. And we can go back to elevation. Draw vertical. So let's start with the base cabinets. Construction line, so off we go. Now we do one here. And we take one of the kitchens as a copy. Move it in, in under this. And so now draw horizontal. We have the kick. We have three drawers. And we have the countertop, upper cabinet, light balance. So let's make this a rectangle. Uh, this is going to be six. So crown is here. Okay. So rectangle this. The panel goes all the way. And we have two doors. So we got the pantry, offset 72, is the fridge, we can check if that's good, okay this one is not good, 72, rectangle, the oversized gable, drawers, countertop and finished gables. Mm, this goes to the end. Okay. So that's that. <coughs> Up, the base cabinets are done. Offset two. Oops, no, this one is not. Offset two. Okay. So there we go. <coughs> Draw construction line vertical. Now we go for the upper cabinets. guidance from here so this is supposed to be all spacing Simple point seventy five. That's our top. So there's a line here, 
and a line here. This line doesn't exist. Still to the hood is 30. This is simple hood of set B. Second elevation done. Now we can unfreeze the wall and move it aside and then just copy. Because we starting with the corner cabinet and moving the other way on the window. So this is the lead. We rotate this. We can continue the same way. So we draw vertical with line here and here. So this is our starting point right here. And off we go with the bases. Vertical. So we have these guys. Sink. the same procedure for each elevation. And we can get rid of some of this. The base cabinet. Just a single door. And we delete this as a pullout. this stretch and fit it in all of this is not required we do have a pantry that's that that here we have again we can use lines horizontal for example the same cabinet Got it here. Edge. 
dan 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 elevation same idea the corner is done vertical line 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 Of the wall, so now nothing moves. This one we don't have. And this is our pretty much kitchen. There you go. So A and D elevation is done. Now we continue with the island. <coughs> 